There's a hurricane coming on Saturday, September 9th in South Florida. But it's the good kind of hurricane. Hurricane Helms will be at the Coral Springs Charter School on Saturday, September 9th for CCW, Coastal Championship Wrestling, via Pablo Marquez, Dan Evans, and the crew. Hurricane, what's it like coming down to South Florida? This is your CCW debut. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I love going to Florida. You know, I love being in the Sunshine State. And uh, thanks for pointing out, though, that I'm the good hurricane, not one of these bad, evil hurricanes, y'all. I'm the good guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, we've had our share of hurricanes down here, too. I know Houston got rocked a little bit and all. So, this is a, again, this is a good hurricane that's coming. Hurricane, what has it been like for you in that process of developing the hurricane character with WWE? Was it something you thought of? Was it a combination of others involved? How did that all manifest? Well, the initial idea about being the superhero came from WWE Creative, WWF at the time. You know, um... I think one of the, no, I mean, I know for certain, one of the main guys in creative had kind of wanted to do a superhero gimmick, uh, but he just never had the right guy. And, uh, you know, and this was around, this was just after the buyout of WCW, so, you know, they got a lot of extra bodies roaming around, at, you know, at TV every week. And um, I got, of course, I got the Green Lantern tattoo on the shoulder. Um, I was all the time wearing, like, comic book shirts anyway. I've been a comic book fan my whole life. And, you know, WWE liked my talent, and they wanted to use me, so it just kind of was the perfect time to try this character out, and I just happened to be the perfect guy, so. Who designed your outfit at that time? Uh, the, the initial ones that were, like, really bland was, like, somebody at WWE. But uh, I just knew, I was like, for this to work, I'm going to have to believe in it, you know, so... Uh, I knew it would have to be, you know, something that got better. And you you can see throughout the years the outfit got progressively better and better and cooler and cooler. With a gimmick like Hurricane, there's a thin line between Batman and Doink the Clown. You know, so I had to walk that, that line very carefully. I wanted to keep, you know, I was going to do some of the comedy and stuff like that. But at the same time, I needed to be cool so that actual comic fans would dig it too. If I, if I went out there just making fun of myself, it wouldn't have lasted that long. I, the person, had to believe in it for the people to believe in me. Now that you're doing, you're wrestling, you're away from WWE, been away for there for a while, how have you tweaked the character or have you tweaked the character when you're on the road? Because WWE is the king of trademark copyright with everything. So how are you able to develop the character and be that character away from WWE? Um, I just add my name, my name to the game. You know, I kind of always wanted to be Shane Hurricane Helms, you know, and I was briefly that on the Indies a long time ago. Um, so I, I just do that. You know, WWE uh, they owned the Hurricane, and the logo was the H with the little fins on it. So when I left, you know, I just kind of tweaked the outfit a little bit. I got a new logo that's my mask, so you can tell it's me. And I uh, and I just added my own spin to it. As far as the characteristics and the mannerisms of the hurricane, there's a lot of that stuff I still do. You know, a lot of my trademark moves I still do. You know, they don't really trademark stuff like that. And my offense was pretty creative. I created most of my own moves. So, uh, you know, there'll be a lot of the old school hurricane that people grew up with and loved. They'll still see some of that. But I'm constantly adding new offense to my stuff because, you know, this is a, the business, the wrestling business is constantly evolving. And these young athletes out there today, they're getting, they're getting bigger, they're better, they're faster, they're stronger, they're more creative than they've ever been. So, you know, you always got to up your game, and that's, that's how I've stuck around for so long. You mentioned comics, and the Hurricane is a superhero type. Who were some of your comic book influences when you were younger, and even now? Uh, my very first favorite character was uh, Marvel. Uh, he was a, uh, Captain Marvel from the uh, Marvel Universe. Uh, then it was like Power Man and Iron Fist. I really loved the, the team concept. I, I was more attracted to team books more than, you know, uh, just a Spider-Man or just a Batman or a Superman. You know, I like the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Legion of Superheroes, you know, Justice League. In team books, in the team dynamic, you get a lot more different characters. And 
that might be even why I like tag team wrestling so much. I like tag team wrestling more than singles competition. You know, even a singles competition, you know, the highlights more on me, and I get that. And, you know, if I were a greedier person, I probably would like that even more. But I just like the dynamic of, of you know, more bodies out there adding to the match. And I think it provides a better atmosphere for the fans, too. Mention Guardians of the Galaxy and Batista had a really good part in that movie, two movies they did with that and all. What are your thoughts of not just that movie, but other movies that are made because it's become, I guess, what, the last 10 years has become such a big thing, having all these movies made out of the comic books? They just, you know, when I was a little kid, you know, wrestling wasn't popular as it is. Comic books with Blue Nerd. A wrestling superhero, like I said, comic books are more popular than ever. And pro wrestling is a global phenomenon. It still is such a big industry in entertainment and sports. So my whole childhood is just validated. I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Michael Kingston, the creator of Headlock, the comic book series about a wrestler, not so much right, not so much about wrestling. But it's a really innovative comic book. And am I right that you've led some art or writing to Michael Kingston's Headlock series? Yeah, I wrote a short short story for one of his Kickstarter projects. And it uh, turned out really great. You know, a lot of great reviews on it. Uh, Because I went serious where most people were expecting the hurricane to go for the funny. You know, I hit him with a serious swerve at the end. And people really dug it. And, And like you said, that book is really good. And uh, it's probably it's the best wrestling comic that has ever been. There are other wrestlers like Jerry Lawler with his artwork and Daniels and Kaz, RVD, Xavier Woods is into comics and comic cons. Why do you think that is? That is it because what we were talking about that pro wrestlers are also interested in that and also have a flair for art and writing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of wrestlers are really creative, you know. The, uh, I mean, pro wrestling it is an art, we're, we're, you know, and I always believe that, you know. It's not just a cliche. You know, there's an art to what we do, and there's a lot of guys that have really creative outlets. And I think a lot of people uh, that aren't, you know, in these type of, in an entertainment industry are creative people, but maybe they just don't have the time, you know. And uh, pro wrestlers, sometimes we're all on the road and we're spending time in hotels and time in airplanes, you know, and your brain starts to wonder. We just kind of find time to, to, do, to do and tackle some of these projects. You know, I think there are a lot of creative people out there that have a lot of great ideas, but they just haven't had a time. And maybe probably got to do it. You know, uh, that, that is a thing, too. You, know, you really got to be driven to, uh, and I think in uh, an August, two months, Artists just have a desire for their you know, pursue their dreams. 